Today I am going to show you how to very quickly create a Google site in a little under 15 minutes. One of the things you need to know that would allow you to do this is go ahead and get your stuff together. If you could go ahead and, and kind of get a plan for how you want your website to look, you can put it together in no time. So, of course, we're here in Gmail. I click the Apps Launcher and I go to Sites. We're just going to simply create one of our own instead of um, you know using a template or anything. I go here to site create, and we're just going to call it. Is a sample? This is your domain name. It will stay that way. Um, you know you can customize it, but the actual URL will stay there. You have to, you would have to kind of do some different things to change it. But you can change how this looks. It may not change this, but it will change this. So that's another video altogether. Okay, it's very basic, as you can see. And when we add layers to it, meaning pages, it's going to come here under Site Layout. We're going to change some of that up because we want horizontal navigation to make it look cleaner, in my personal opinion. But you can do whatever you want in Google Sites. And I'm going to show you, if you, like I said, if you have your stuff together, we can quickly create this. This is a page editor. So anything that you're trying to customize here, this is the button. This is your creating a page. And over here is where you're going to manage it, make it pretty, and change the layout. There are other things to do too, but these are the two biggies. So first, we're going to, we have a home page. And let's just go ahead and edit our home page. Make our home page a little nicer. And we're going to... Just, um, welcome to my class. My name is Mrs. Sample, and we are going to have a great year. I hope that's true. And then I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. I remember doing this one earlier today. And that's a very big image. We obviously do not want that. So what we need to do in order to make sure that is let's change how big that is. Maybe maybe more of a medium. Even large is better than that huge thing that it was. And we're gonna center this. Let's go ahead and take this, make this font, change it to something like Georgia, maybe 18, and we'll center it also. And let's, it defaults to kind of a gray, we'll just kind of make it black. Okay. Getting started. So now we're going to add a page, and what we're going to do is add a calendar app. Notice I hit that little button that looked like a little piece of paper with a square in it, I mean with a plus in it, and this is just a web page. There are other options. I'm going to go here, insert, and if you will scroll over, you will see Google Calendar. And I have one down here called Sample. We're going to select this one. I'm not going to worry about changing all this. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. And I can change my view if I choose to, and agenda view, but I think I'm just going to keep it month. We'll save this. And let's center it. Okay. I notice I already have a couple assignments on here that if students wanted to add them to their calendar, they could click, and you'll notice it'll say copy to my calendar. And if students are logged into their Chromebooks, that's what they'll be able to do. Okay, so that's one. Now I want to do some documents. I'm just going to add um, like a resource list. So what I would do is I would go here to add a page, create a page, and we're going to do class documents, or class resources, I think is a better word. File cabinet, create. And I can go here to add files. Oops, 
so maybe I want to add um, this image, whatever it may be. I hope it's something good. But then I can also go and add something from Drive. Maybe the student handbook would be good. Um, a class survey might be good. If I have a pivot table, a class presentation, assignment, these would be good. And they'll all load. Um, you know, make sure that the permissions are there that students can view. And I can also add a link. Maybe I have a technology help. And I do have a link for that. Oops. And I can give a description. Use this site to find technology resources. Add. And now I have a page. So now I have my documents, my resources. This could be something I kind of go to for them to find. Um, you know, when they ask you, you know, what were the rules about lessons? What's in the class handbook or in the student handbook? Now we're going to make a, a class blog. We're going to call this an announcement page. So it, maybe you want to call it announcements, maybe you want to call it a class blog, whatever you want to call it. New post. And make sure you title your post. If you wanted to add an image in here, you could, or a link. Um, I don't really have any images I want to do, so I'd probably rather just do upload an image. This is something good too. friends of mine. I'm sure they'll be thrilled to know that they are in the middle of my blog post. Okay, so we have a class calendar, we have class resources, a classroom blog. How about if we were to do the classroom like rules and expectations? So we're adding to the page. Kind of a syllabus of sorts, which I'm going to create. Matter of fact, I think it even says syllabus for what we're going to embed. And I'm going to show you how to quickly embed a Google Doc. You're going to like this. Insert, just go over here to Drive. If you go to Documents, and here it is. Make the height, you know, make it a thousand or something. That way you can see the whole thing. So we're looking pretty good here. We have our rules. And then we're going to do one more page, and this is going to be for student projects. Because I think having a place to put classroom projects is an awesome way to share with families, to share with the school community, um, with school board members, so that people know kind of some of the fun stuff that's going on in your classroom. Yes, I know, every day is not fun stuff, but the work that these kids are doing, is, it's, a, it's just a great way to display, and I also call it artifacts. Okay, so we're going to go to Drive. We're going to go to Folder. We have the ability to insert a whole folder. We're going to take one that says Austin. Austin's, let's do Earth Day. I think we did Earth Day. Now, it'll, you can have one that's a list, and it'll just give you a list of what's in the folder, or a grid, and it will display them. And this is, I like the grid. You'll see what it looks like. So this is all the stuff that they did in one unit. Okay, so we have all of these things, and that's not bad. Not a bad start for classrooms. But me personally, I am just not crazy about this being here. Um, there's a lot of things I have to do to make it kind of look nice. And if you're not very experienced at Google Sites, it takes a little longer to learn this. So what I'm going to do is show you how to quickly add this and make it a Head, you know, a header across here, 
we're going to change this to make it look a little nicer and give yourself a good color. So this is what we're going to do. We are going to start with what we call Edit Site Layout. Okay, so we're going to start at the top and kind of work our way down. First, we're going to go to Edit Site Layout. This is no longer the Alexander County Schools logo. So what we're going to do is do a custom logo. And I happen to have the Alexander County logo. And this is it. If anybody needs it, let me know. Let it populate. Then here we are going to make the center, okay, because we want to cross the in the middle, not somewhere out there in no man's land. If I wanted to get rid of the search bar, I could. I'm going to keep it. Now we're still in edit site layout. And that so we're going to turn on horizontal gap navigation and turn off sidebar. So my pages are gone, but it's widened my screen. So to do horizontal navigation, I would go here and click right there in that where that line kind of turned blue. And I would start adding pages. So my class calendar would go there. I would add a page, I'd add all my pages. Class resources, class blog, classroom rules and expectations, and my last one, student projects. I'm going to make these boxes, I kind of like boxes, or tabs, I don't really care which one. And you'll see that, and we're going to close. So it looks pretty good. Now, obviously, we've got a little bit to be desired here when it turn, in terms of what it looks like in terms of color. So let's go ahead and go find something. We're going to, we can do this, we can do one of two things here. We can pick a theme. They have some custom themes in Google Sites. And these are the custom things that are here. Let's scroll back up and just pick any of them. So I'm just going to pick one. It's called Micro Blueprint. Don't know if that's the one I would have picked, really, but matter of fact, I know I wouldn't have. How about this one, beige and blue? No, it's still not crazy. Um, I want to take my horizontal navigation, and I want to go here where it says text. I want to make that text a little bit bigger because, I don't know about you, it's hard to see. That's a little better. And I'm not going to mess with anything else. I can mess with other things, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to say, you know what, one more thing. Let's do something different. I don't, I'm not crazy about all those. I, let's try this. Let's see if I like it better. Yeah, not bad. Save. I'll go out here, and you're going to see my classroom website. So, I go through my class calendar, my classroom resources, my blog, classroom rules and expectations. in my student projects. By having all that together, I was able to do that very quickly and under 15 minutes. So if you want to get started with Google Sites, this is just a great way um, you know that you can call me, um, that's Amy Dawson at alexander.k12.nc.us, and I highly recommend customizing your website, and you can hook this to your SchoolWires account.